On this episode, you'll be hearing from Eric Nayer, who is the CMO of Canopy. Eric is a skincare buff who has spent his career in marketing and business development for emerging beauty and wellness brands. Eric got his start in beauty working for cult favorite brand Lipstick Queen, driving partnerships with iconic retailers such as Barney's and QVC. In 2011, he joined Birchbox as the eighth employee and spent the next seven years building the merchandising function and developing partnerships with hundreds of brands across skincare, color, hair care, and fragrance. In 2018, Eric joined the digital brand Incubator under Walmart e-commerce and launched Glow Habit, a beauty and wellness brand on walmart.com and in Walmart stores across the U.S. Most recently, he joined the founding team of Canopy, where he serves as CMO, overseeing the brand's positioning and growth across the direct-to-consumer channel and with retail partners. Eric resides in New York City with his fiance. Now that you know all about Eric, you guys need to brace yourselves. He's about to share with you the coolest, the cleanest, the chicest humidifier to date. Daniel and I have one in our bedroom that we use every single day. Like literally we fight about who is going to refill the water because we can't ever let that run dry. We just ordered another for the downstairs. I also needed an excuse to get the pink one, but that's besides the point. Buckle up and get ready for this episode. You're going to love it. I want to start by asking you how many of these humidifiers do you have in your workspace or your living space? We have got a ton of humidifiers. Actually, just before the recording, Molly, we were just talking about, um, you know, I live in a small New York City apartment, but we do have one in the bedroom and one in the living room because uh, ultimately, you know, in order to maintain the right amount of humidity in the entire apartment, that's how we have it set up. In our office, they're definitely all over our office. And of course, we have tons of them on display. We're super proud of the way that the humidifier looks and the beautiful design. So we can't have enough canopy humidifiers around. The design is impeccable. I feel like it should belong in like a CB2 showroom. It's so beautiful. You would never, ever, ever think it's a humidifier. Thanks for saying that. You know, we we think that that has really driven quite a bit of interest in the product. I can tell you that on paid social, the best performing piece of creative that we have to date is just a really beautiful photo of the humidifier on a cream background with some copy. And I think people are just super curious about what it is. And it's really driven a lot for us through our paid efforts. So we, we love that the product and the way it looks is like such a good way for us to lead as a brand. We're super proud of it. Absolutely. For people who are hearing about Canopy for the very first time and are wondering why I'm even asking you why you have multiple in a home, <laughs> can you give us a little background about what makes this humidifier so special? Yeah, absolutely. So Canopy was actually the brainchild of our co-founders, Justin Seidenfeld and Lucas Lappi. And, you know, the way that this whole idea came about was that Lucas's girlfriend actually used a humidifier religiously. Every day, every night, she would never sleep without it. And um, she told Lucas that she thought of it as part of her skincare routine. And he just thought that that was super interesting because he had never heard it sort of talked about that way. And so he looked into it and there was a lot of science behind the fact that maintaining optimal indoor humidity, which is between 40 and 60% at all times, it has real functional benefits for the health and hydration of the skin. And then of course, there are all the other benefits that I think most consumers are more familiar with. And those are, you know, that humidifiers alleviate symptoms of cold and flu. It's going to help with nasal congestion, sinus irritation. Um, you know, people say that having increased in, indoor humidity helps them sleep better. And actually, you know, our research led us to some interesting facts that we didn't know either, that actually having optimal indoor humidity decreases the spread of airborne viruses as well. Um, And just because I thought this was super interesting, that's because those droplets that now we all learned so much about because of COVID, the droplets, when there's more moisture content in the air, that's going to bind to those droplets and make them heavier and make them fall out of circulation faster. So all this myriad of benefits around increased indoor humidity. But then, you know, when we looked into it, we saw that nobody had innovated really in the category basically ever. We're still using humidifiers that look like the ones that, um, I don't know about you, Molly, but that look like the ones that my mom used to drag out when I was a kid and I had a cold, which is a really long time ago. So, you know, no real innovation, nothing interesting in the category. And no one had ever really designed a humidifier with the modern skincare and wellness consumer in mind. Um, Someone who 
you know, probably like you, you know, understands how the health of how the health of our skin really works is thinking about skincare ingredients and which ones are right, which ones are clean. Also thinking about how else to, you know, have a good wellness routine in the home from the diets that we eat to the exercise that we do, the supplements we take all of those things. So we set out to reimagine the humidifier for that consumer. Um, the consumer who we know is modern and is really steeped in this idea of creating a great routine and a lifestyle that's based in wellness. And, and we think of skincare now as an extension of our overall wellness. And so that was the inspiration for building our first hero product, which is the Canopy Humidifier. And it drove really everything that we did from the product development to getting linked up with um, our consulting cosmetic dermatologist, Dr. Dendi Engelman, who also the helped coolest. us create the, the best, absolutely the best. And she helped us develop the feature set. And then also how we went out to market and came out for our consumers, you know, with our branding and our positioning, how we wanted to speak to people, it's driven everything. So that's kind of the origin story. I just wanted to add when you were saying, you know, there's so many benefits of a humidifier for me personally. And I think I mentioned this to you before. I always would wake up and my throat, I would have to go like, <clears throat> it's like the sensation of being dry. And now I wake up with the canopy eight feet from our bed and I'm like, ooh, it's all good in the throat. We're ready to rock. And Daniel's hands, my husband's hands are just like, so soft, like a baby's tush, even in the winter, which never happens. He used to have to like lather on moisturizer for the body. And now Canopy has really changed the game for us. So props to you guys. I'm so happy to hear that. It never ceases to make me super happy to hear people who actually have these really specific issues that they had before using the Canopy humidifier and, you know, how our product has alleviated those. So really glad to hear that. Yeah, absolutely. When I was chatting with you before, I was like, I really think it would be so nice to have you on the podcast because people need to know more about this and what really sets it apart. So I'm sure you're going to share there's no gross, circulating, disgusting, moist air. <laughs> right. Totally. Yeah. You described or it really air, well. I should say. <laughs> we might actually want to get you to film an ad for us because <laughs> you, you said it exactly right. So like something very foundational about the technology behind the canopy humidifier that is different for most consumers is that there's no mist that comes out of the humidifier. And, um, you know, the ultrasonic or misting a variety of humidifiers has become the most popular and the sort of, you know, most recognizable type of a humidifier out there. What that is, is there's water in a basin, and then there's an ultrasonic element that basically just sort of whips that water up into a mist that's then, you know, released from the humidifier. And during that process, what happens is anything that's in the water, so that could be dust or dissolved metals or other solids, could be bacteria, is just being spit out of the humidifier with that mist. And then other things that people don't like about the mist are that it can create condensation on your furniture or ruin your upholstery or whatever it might be. Um, so it's really not super healthy and um, it really drives a lot of what makes humidifiers so hard to clean and maintain. So we use a different type of technology called evaporative technology where the water is actually first, the first thing that happens is the water is run past a UV LED that sanitizes the water and kills up to 99.9% .9 of any bacteria that's there. And then it's run through a paper wicking filter um, inside the unit, which I know you've seen Molly because you have one. Um, and that filter is gonna catch any bacteria that might be left there, any of those dissolved solids or metals you that guys, I talked about. You guys should see the shit that comes onto the filter. Mm -hmm. I will insta story this the next time we change it. Our filter is disgusting. And then every time we like to show each other, like if one of us changes it without the other being there, we send a picture. Like, look how gross it was this time. <laughs> so the fact that this is like absorbing it all and not, not in our area that we're like constantly breathing it in or absorbing it is, we're just so grateful. Yeah, honestly. I mean, you know, that's something really dem demonstrable about that the humidifier is working and it's and it's doing its job you know within a few days or even the first use of using it that filter like you said will start to go from the bright white color that it comes in um to i mean people have shown us all different colors browns oranges red yellow and it also gets crusty and harder over time if you've noticed and so it's that so is satisfying it's yeah, like popping it's a great. pimple. <laughs> it is. It's kind of like Dr. Pimple Popper in a weird way. And mm -hmm. so, right. So, um, you know, you do have to replace that filter regularly. And we find that the no mist part and also the filter, because it's such an interesting education point, has been an incredible way for us to market the product. Uh, it really piques people's interest to try to understand, okay, 
why no mist, you know, and, and also why, why this filter and what's happening to the filter over time that makes it look so crazy. So the no mist or evaporative technology part is like one pillar of differentiation in, in the features. And then we also um, wanted to tackle the issue of mold because mold is one of the top reported concerns of humidifier users. You know, it is definitely the biggest health concern that people have about using them. And traditional humidifiers do get moldy and they, and they get moldy pretty quickly. I and was we actually always know- throwing mine away. Always. Yeah. I would get a new so- one like every, every few months and I would just see like either like white spores with like little black dots or even like aromatherapy, um, Diffusers. Diffusers, yeah. Oh my God, they were turning colors. It was disgusting. Yeah, it's interesting because you know people see this, and we know that it's a really common behavior to do exactly what you were doing, which was use one until and maybe try to keep it up as much as you can, but then eventually the mold is going to catch up with you. And so it is a very common practice to throw humidifiers away regularly. And we just thought that that was sad for the consumer and really sad for the planet too. So we really yeah, so set out wasteful. to. De- yeah, we set out to develop something that was just going to last you a much longer time. And mold, we know, is such a big driver of it becoming, you know, kind of irrelevant or impossible to use over time. So we have a proprietary technology in the humidifier that's called Smart Persistent Airflow, but we call it SPA for short, which is fun. And basically what the system does is it means that the humidifier will, the canopy humidifier will run until it's absolutely dry inside, no water left behind at all. And what causes mold to grow inside most humidifiers is that standing water that gets left behind. And it's interesting, ultrasonic kind that I mentioned before, the misting kind, those are actually designed to shut off when there's still a little bit of water left inside the unit because the humidifier will actually break if it runs when it's completely dry. So our technology, again, runs the humidifier until there's absolutely no water left inside the system. There are sensors inside that sense whether there's water or not. And what you'll find, and you probably have, is that over time, you know, you can go in and you refill your water tank and you, or you change the filter and you don't see any molds in any of those parts that um, are touching the water, which would normally be the moldy parts. And then sort of along the lines of being easy to clean and just good to incorporate into an active lifestyle, sort of busy, busy people. When those parts that do touch water, so the tank and the tray, They'll get a little bit of residue on them because that uh, that is water inside. Um, you just throw those parts in the dishwasher, which also really sets us apart. So what I usually do is like just about every, honestly, maybe week or ten days. Sometimes I even go two weeks. I'll just throw them in the dishwasher, and then you can you can get back to humidifying. Is it safe to put it in the bottom rack of the dishwasher or only the top? You can totally put it in the bottom rack. I think we mm. suggest the top rack, but it, you can definitely put it in the bottom rack. However, it fits best into your dishwasher annoyingly does not fit on the top of ours. I wanted to, but I was like, I can't wreck it. I'm going to wait to ask. So I'm glad I'm asking now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you should be fine with it, putting it on the bottom rack. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, you know, the anti-mold and the anti-mist pieces of the technology are are the ma- are major pillars. But then, you know, I, I mentioned how what really drove our product development was thinking about this modern skincare and wellness consumer and what that consumer really needed. And so we've built in other features. One thing to know is that your body is going to lose a lot more water overnight than during the day. So while you're sleeping, um, due to fluctuation and us not replenishing any of our fluids, because we're not awake to drink water, your body loses a great deal of water. And so um, you can put your canopy humidifier on an auto mode where a light sensor on it actually senses when it's dark in the room. What will happen is that it kicks into a higher setting when it's dark. When it's dark, we figure it's nighttime or sleep, you need more hydration. And then when there's light in the room, we figure it's daytime, you're either out and about or now in our new world, you might be just like uh, awake, but you know, sort of around your home and replenishing your fluids with drinking and all of that. And we kick the humidifier down into a lower setting, or I should I should say the auto mode does, uh, so that it really fits with the lifestyle that you have. Um, and it conserves water in the tank so that you're not refilling the tank as frequently. That's another very different feature, totally unique to us. Yeah, I think people who are listening should register that you're not replacing your humidifier every four to six weeks, you're replacing the filter. And we make it easy for you so you can subscribe. <laughs> you, you can subscribe yeah. to filters um, and we'll, we'll send you one every six weeks for a, a discounted price. Um, so another way that we just want things to be easy for you. It's actually a genius. Another feature that Canopy Humidifier has that's that's pretty different is that um, there's a built-in aroma diffuser that people have just been loving to use. 
And so we know that aroma diffusion is a big part of people's wellness routines. Um, and, you know, whether it's essential oils for um, sort of functional benefits or more just, you know, kind of home scenting, making your house a, a pleasant place um, that smells really good and it's really warm and inviting. It, it also uses evaporative technology. So none of that mist that you see coming from, you know, traditional diffusers. Uh, we have uh, little ceramic, um, we call them pucks, and they're kind of shaped like discs. And there's a spot on the top grate of the humidifier that's shaped just for your um, diffusion puck. And you drop the puck onto the top, and then you drop some um, fragrance oil or essential oil onto the puck. And it just diffuses naturally. It evaporates with the um, hydrated air that's coming out of your canopy humidifier. This is just another feature that we, we find people are really loving and just enhances the experience. Do you have a favorite scent? So we are actually working on a line uh, of our own aromas. We're um, doing a lot more in this space just because the scents that we've released thus far have done really well. We have a scent that's sold with a lot of our humidifiers called Unwind, and it is a uh, cherry blossom and tea. It just has a really sweet, but not too sweet aroma to it, very soothing. That's definitely been a favorite, but some of these ones that we have coming up, I, I know people are gonna be really excited about. That's awesome. When should we expect to see it launched? The summer or not till fall time? Just within the next few months. So summertime for sure. Amazing. Speaking of summertime, I learned this from you guys, but can you tell those listening, why is a humidifier important in the summertime? I never would have thought that, truly, because I'm so dry in the winter. My skin is dry. My throat is dry. Just like the air is disgustingly dry. And in the summer, I'm like, oh, it's humid all the time. I'm kind of by the water. I'm good but you right. guys educated me. So now please educate those. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We've learned so much, so it's been great. Summertime is actually a time for dry and dehydrated skin, despite all those assumptions that, that lots of us have. So you're gonna be drying out your skin with a lot of things that you do over the summer. So you're sweating more and losing more water overall. Um, we're doing things like maybe going to the beach or swimming in a pool. We know chlorine is very drying. Some people are drinking more alcohol during the summer. I know I definitely like to enjoy a margarita more frequently when you can be outside and sort of and, and enjoy that. And then the biggest culprit though is your air conditioning. So an air conditioner, the, the air that's um, sort of forced through your air conditioner has basically a zero moisture content to it. So it's going to dry out the air um, inside your home significantly. Um, so just keeping the humidifier running helps to counteract that drying effect from the, from the air conditioning. I don't know if you ever like sleep in a hotel room where the air conditioning is really high and you wake up, you just have that really dry feeling from the AC. So, you know, like I said, we really set out to make the canopy humidifier something that was going to be really easy for people to use whenever they want to use it and just kind of keep it running, set it and forget it. We think, uh, we think of it. And so, you know, just keep it running all year round as something that's going to support your skin and also your wellness, no matter what those conditions are. And I think that you guys have really capitalized on everything that the humidifier industry was lacking and you just pretty much elevated it to its highest degree. It's incredible. Well, thanks. That's so great to hear. Is there a white noise feature on the canopy? So the humidifier does have a fan inside and that's part of the evaporative technology that I mentioned before. And on the highest setting, what we hear from most people is that that does generate a soft white noise. Personally, I really love white noise. I sleep with white noise between my canopy humidifier and an actual white noise machine. I, I sleep with a lot of white noise. And so for people who like white noise, they've really, really loved it. So yes, it can double as your white noise machine, uh, especially if you keep it on the high setting. That's cool. You mentioned in the very beginning that Canopy's Hero product is the humidifier. Does that mean that there's more products on the horizon? Yes, we have absolutely been working on a bunch of products, um, which is super exciting. I'm not sure whether you're aware, but Canopy is actually incubated out of another startup called Doris Dev. And Doris Dev is a product design and sourcing company that offers those services to brands as a service partner. So Doris Dev is essentially an outsourced product development team. And Doris Dev works with tons of digitally native and direct to consumer brands, taking their products from a concept phase all the way through to launch an ongoing supply chain for their partners. That's and so amazing. we, yeah, as Canopy, we're lucky enough to have the resources of Doris Dev to always be thinking about and developing new products. And so there is quite a bit on the horizon. You know, as we develop as a brand and as we see what's resonating with consumers, 
we're really carving out this space uh, where, you know, people are doing, like I said before, so much to sort of control the different elements of their lifestyle to be as healthy and well and have as great of skin as they possibly can. Um, but one element and sort of element that of the of a lifestyle that hasn't really been addressed is the ambient at home environment. There are studies that show that we spend upwards of 93% of our lives indoors, which is just so crazy to me, but it makes sense. I mean, I love being outside, but I don't get outside nearly as much as I would like to. So eyes are so wide. No one can see, but I'm just like, wow, that is sad. Wow. It's shocking. shocking. It's shocking. Um, and so you know, this at home environment is actually, if we can gain more control over this factor when it comes to our wellness and our skin, then we would be on, we're unleashing a whole uh, sort of other facet of a, of a routine that, that hasn't been addressed yet. And so we're gonna continue to address these products you can have in your home to make your home the best space for beauty and for wellness. When you're saying that you are altering the future of the brand based on the consumer. How did you and the team survey the population? What kind of market research did Canopy do? Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, we are a really scrappy team and we're truly the definition of a startup, which I absolutely love. It's really such a fun work experience. As we were developing the humidifier and then throughout our history as a brand, we just really value sitting down and talking to customers, you know, and of course, that's mostly virtually, I say sitting down uh, with air quotes, but just to talk to people, users of humidifiers, users of different product categories that we might be looking into and talking about their behaviors, their sort of the pros and cons of what's out there, um, how they feel about the products in the market. And then now that we've developed a customer base, uh, you know, we're going on our one year anniversary in October. So we're small, still small, but mighty. And um, now that we're developing a customer base, you know, it's such a great way to be able to just tap into consumer insights by emailing a certain swath of our customers with a survey um, or with some questions about their experience or their current behaviors. So, you know, it is still a lot of just sitting down with people, talking to them about what their routines are like, what they feel is missing. And now that we have customers of our own, we can just go directly to them. And our customers have been incredibly generous with their feedback and with their time to help guide us as we as we make more products for those customers. Besides Dr. Dundee, do you have other dermatologists who are kind of rooting for you guys on the sidelines or recommending the actual humidifier to their patients? So we have a wide variety of interesting doctors that you might not assume uh, are recommending the humidifier to their patients. So we actually have an eye doctor. She recommends it more than once a day because she specializes in the condition of dry eye, which is, I don't experience it personally, but it's an overwhelming condition for a large percent of the population. And so she recommends the canopy humidifier for her, her dry eye patients. We have pediatricians who are recommending them to both expecting and new parents for their babies, which has been really great to see. And then on that skincare side, we have a number of facialists and other skincare professionals. Sophie Pavitt being one of them, if you know her from Instagram, we've been really thrilled to see that she loves the Canopy Humidifier and she's recommended it. And she actually talked about it in, into the Gloss interview. So that was really, really cool. It's been amazing to see how much each little community that we have. So we've got like the skincare enthusiasts and then we've got the new parents and we've got people who suffer from other different types of medical conditions and they've really embraced the product. And those experts have really helped us like craft the way that we talk about it. Unbelievable. So one of the co-founders girlfriends shared her thought with her boyfriend and he was like, whoa, this is an amazing idea. Let me look into this. And this happened in 2020 or 2019. What What's the timeline looking like for the thought, the product, bring it to market? Yeah. Between the time that there was the first thought for the product to the time that the product got in market, it was about 18 months, you know, like not even, two, not even two years. There was a lot of upfront work on the product development that happened. And then I actually joined the team in 2020, right? Actually, as the world was kind of shutting down with COVID in March of 2020, it was honestly a very odd time to be joining up with a new project, but it was such a blessing, you know, as we were all in lockdown and quarantine to like dive into something that was so interesting and new and different. You know, my background is is deep in beauty and more recently some wellness brands doing marketing and business development. And so I'm such, you know, a nerd for this kind of stuff, all everything that's going to help your skin. 
And this was just something that sat in such a different space. You know, I love skincare products, but there are so many serums and moisturizers and, you know, there's just so many products out there. And this product has real functional benefits for both for skin and for wellness, and it sits in its own space. And so it was such a, a blessing for me to be able to jump into that in a time where, you know, we all, I feel like needed something to really keep us occupied and keep our brains working. And so, yeah, so then, as I mentioned, um, it'll be a year since we launched um, in October. Happy early birthday. That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks. You know, I like that you said that it really caters to different audiences because I love hyaluronic acid. I think it has helped my skin on my face so, so much. But I would always say, I just wish I could get a body cream that has so much hyaluronic acid for not a thousand dollars, right? And it's right. like, oh, just get a can of humidifier because that's essentially what it's doing. It's just like pumping this, it's making your skin plump and feels refreshed. Like that's really the best mm -hmm. way to describe it. That is a great way to describe it. And I think another thing that you bring up that I think is really interesting is that dehydration in the skin, whether it's the skin on your body or the skin on your face is the cause of so many problems that people have. You know, people might say like, oh, well, my skin is red or my skin is, you know, flaky or even breakouts. You know, um, if, if, the, if the skin is not hydrated properly, then the barrier is compromised, right? And so bacteria getting in is a way that people experience breakouts if that barrier isn't functioning properly to, to defend your, your skin from, from those irritants. And so I think what you're picking up on with the, I, I slather myself in hyaluronic acid in the morning and then again at night. So I'm with you on that. I think it's that baseline of hydration that a lot of people are just missing in their skin. And they tell themselves, well, I drink a lot of water and I use a good moisturizer and I use a night cream, but your skin still might be dehydrated and that might be why you're experiencing issues. And so for me, yeah, hyaluronic acid has been like a really interesting ingredient to incorporate. When I started using it, I was like, wow, this feels so different. I think it was all about the hydration. And I think you get that same moment with the, hum the canopy humidifier. It's like, I was missing this and now I'm really hydrated at the level that I should be. A hundred percent. We just got, we just ordered a second one in pink this time. I don't know what colors you have, but I actually love that there's multiple colors to choose from because it makes ordering more than one more fun. And it's nice to just give as gifts. Well, great. I'm glad to hear that the colors were something that uh, helped you decide to, to get another one. Um, and we're going to be releasing more limited edition colors. And, uh, you know, the, you'll see a lot of newness in the future when it comes to the design. I love that. I can tell that you're oozing with passion when it comes to skincare. It's like, I just feel it through mm -hmm. the screen. So walk me through your past. You were at Birchbox and then Walmart, but in, like in the beauty area and now Canopy. Yeah. So, I mean, I like to take it all the way back just really quickly to my first job in beauty. I actually didn't go to school for marketing or business. I wanted to be an actor when I was growing up and I went to college to study musical theater and got my degree in, in performing. And so I worked as a professional actor, but you know, nothing that anybody would know. Um, <laughs> I was out of college. And the last time I, I sort of was one foot in one foot out of that profession. It wasn't feeling the fire that I think you need to feel in order to really go after that. I needed a new survival job, like just something to pay the bills. And my friend said, I can get you a job selling lipsticks for this lipstick company. And I said, but I don't know anything about makeup. She said, all you need to be able to do is pick colors for people and textures. I said, okay. So I started working for this little company called Lipstick Queen. It's a cult, it has a cult following. It's now available in Ulta. The founder at the time um, was still very involved with the brand. Her name is Poppy King. And I started out just selling her lipsticks at the selling floor of retailers that don't even exist anymore. So Barney's and Henry Bendel's. Um, and so that was just such a great way to get introduced to the category of beauty because I was talking to the customers, you know, again, like just being able to have those interactions with customers and understand their concerns and, and what they were looking for in their products. That's how I got my start. And then, yes, um, I was the eighth employee at Birchbox and spent seven years there while the company was just, you know, had an explosion of growth. It was incredibly exciting and really, really educational time in my career. And I handled um, the brand partnership side of things. So all of the assortment merchandising and the way we would market the, our brands um, who were in the boxes and available on our website, that was my department. And then I did join an incubation arm of Walmart e-commerce after that. 
and I helped to develop um, a beauty and wellness brand that we sold through Walmart stores and walmart.com. And that was um, an incredibly, uh, it's just an amazing learning experience. And, you know, to really understand the beast of the largest retailer in the world was, was, was such a, a, so much good information for me. And then I was lucky enough through my network. Um, I, I always advise like for people to always take time for networking. Sometimes it can seem like I don't have any time in my calendar for a coffee with this person or, you know, but um, I always, I always make as much time as I can for just keeping in touch with the people in my network, especially those who, you know, seem to be doing interesting things. So Such a really good, good friend advice. of mine. Yeah. Yeah. It's easy to say, oh, I can't do that. I just like need to plow through all my other work. Um, it's, it's really important to keep time for that. There's so, always oh going to be work. Always. Right. Always. Yeah. And, and it refreshes your mind. It can be like a reset. It takes you out of what you do on your day to day to talk about somebody else's work um, and what they're doing. You might even like might. change your perception of something. Totally. You know, I, um, every job I've ever had, I've gotten through networking and, and just relationships. And so a good friend of mine from Birchbox introduced me to Justin Seidenfeld, who I mentioned before, and we just started talking about this product and their ideas around it. And I wanted to get in on it right away. Incredible story. Really? Mm -hmm. Like this is the stuff that gets me so excited. I was saying on a different episode of the podcast that I'm such a connector and I love mm. connecting people. I love connecting people to jobs, people to apartments, people to partners, whatever it may be. So seeing that your journey was all connections, it's amazing. And now you're connecting people to this amazing product. Good for you. Yeah, thanks so much. Two questions for you. My first question, does Canopy have a satisfaction guarantee? If there's someone out there listening to this thinking like, okay, if this humidifier is actually that good, I'll buy it, I'll try it, and we'll see what happens. So that's a great question. And it's something as a brand that we're working on. We're very proud that we have a very low return rate with the product. The vast majority of consumers are having a great experience. Is the warehouse HQ and all other departments US based? Yes. So our warehousing is in the US so that we can get our products to our US customers who, you know, we're only shipping to the US at this point as quickly as possible. We do have an office in Brooklyn. Our team is some remote and most of us live in New York City. So uh, what's great about the way we work now is that we can, you know, sort of capitalize on things that are great about the remote work life, lifestyle, but um, we also are in person several days each week um, and get to see one another. So we're, we're doing a hybrid model at this point and it's been, it's been really great. I think, you know, for people who are good at working this way, it's a real unlock as far as like giving people flexibility. Oh yes. <laughs> when I flip over the water into <laughs> the humidifier, yeah. I just always spill the water. What am I doing wrong? Yeah. So these are little tips that I feel like can be helpful for people. One thing is that when you take the empty tank out of the humidifier, out of the base, I always shake mine off a little bit, like just shake the, um, the tank a little bit so that any excess water that might be on that cap that rests into the base comes off. And then with flipping it, I think it's really just about sort of aiming it as intentionally as possible right toward that base so that no water will come off, come out and make sure that your your cap is screwed on really, really tightly. Um, those are the few things that I would advise. And I'll keep you posted. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the last thing before I let you go, can you share with everyone where people can buy the humidifier and all the social? Yeah, absolutely. So you can buy the Canopy humidifier on our website, getcanopy.co. Um, and we also are available on Violet Gray and urbanoutfitters.com and anthropology.com. Um, and you'll probably see us pop up on some more retailer websites and in person with retailers soon. Um, and you can follow us on social at get.canopy. Anytime a guest comes on, I always like to ask, what's one product that they recently are obsessed with? So you can't cheat and say canopy humidifier, <laughs> but is there another product that you're recently really, really into? I'm totally fine with that because I've talked a ton about the canopy humidifier and I love so many different products. So, um, I mean, you know, we talked about hyaluronic acid in a skincare routine, but another ingredient that I feel like everyone needs is retinol. Um, but it's really about finding the right retinol because you can't just go out there and buy any old retinol and start slathering it all over your skin um, and expect to see results. 
Um, I use the Drunk Elephant Retinol and it's just really an incredible product. I think it's very sophisticated. The percentage of retinol, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's strong, but not irritating. And if you use it according to how they advise you to use it, I mean, it has really transformed my skin. You know, I use it every single night. You just have to remember to always apply your sunscreen during the day if you're, well, no matter what, but if you're um, using retinol, especially, you should always um, be applying SPF every single day so that you don't get any irritation. I love that answer. I'm so into skincare these days. It's absurd. I have like an entire skincare closet. I need to downsize. I think being at home did that to a lot of us, right? Like it was like, I might as well start trying this mask now or all the time on my hands to just sit around and and try something new. And also, you know, something maybe you were worried it was going to make you break out or, you know, irritate your skin. We had nowhere to go. So I think everyone became much more open to trying stuff at home. Um, so I'm the same way. I, I amassed a ton of product. Yeah, it's pretty much every online shopping order was skincare or loungewear. It's like, what's going to come in the mail today? <laughs> Now that we can go back outside again, we can, you know, start buying some more jeans and I don't know, like maybe you'll, you know, want to buy some new heels or something like that. It'll feel good for people. That's a nice change for sure. Totally. Thank you again so, so much. I appreciate your time. And I think this was incredible. I hope people really resonate with your words and check out Canopy's Humidifier. Thanks so much, Molly. It was great talking to you. Yeah, likewise. Thank you. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. If you enjoyed this podcast, feel free to share with your friends, family, loved ones, really anyone who you think would gain value from this episode. And if you're feeling up for it, please subscribe, rate, and review. It means so, so much.